If you're looking for something to do this weekend, look no further than the new London Ledge Lighthouse. I recently got the chance to step back in time when I toured this historic landmark. Take a look. Just a short boat ride off the coast of Connecticut stands the new London Ledge Lighthouse. This lighthouse is so woven into the maritime history of this area. It's so much a part of the identity of this area, I would say soul of this area, that it's come to take on a lot of meaning for a lot of people. For more than a century, Ledge Lighthouse has been guiding sailors and ships safely through the waters of the Long Island Sound. Okay, well, welcome to Ledge Lighthouse, the best view in town. Today, it's also serving a new purpose, tourist destination. Well, as I tell people on tours, this isn't our lighthouse, it's your lighthouse. It's, it's everybody's lighthouse. From the time it opened in 1909 up until it became fully automated in 1987, the new London Ledge Lighthouse was manned 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Keepers there spent their time polishing, painting, repairing, and most importantly, making sure the light never went out. But when the keepers left, the structure deteriorated. When we really got serious about some of the restoration work around 2010, a lot of the rooms were you know, down to the brick or just big holes in the wall. Over the past seven years, Todd Gipstein, president of the Ledge Light Foundation, has worked with volunteers to restore the lighthouse to its former glory. Now the foundation offers up close and personal tours of the historic landmark. It's a wonderful place to come and tour, to walk where the keepers walked and see exhibits about the history and the light and the light keepers. Visitors can even climb to the top of the 58-foot structure to see the light in action. This is the bulb that's being used in here, just 35 watts, and through this lens mechanism, it's seen, I believe, at this point, 18 miles. If visitors are lucky, they may even get a glimpse of the rumored ghost. According to the legend, uh, sometime in the 20s or 30s, a keeper named Ernie was out here and learned uh, in a letter from his wife that she had run off with the captain of the Block Island Ferry. As the story goes, Ernie became so distraught, he jumped from the top of the lighthouse, killing himself. Now, it's hard to find, actually impossible to find, an Ernie in the historical records or any, any uh, evidence of a suicide. But uh, that doesn't mean it didn't happen. Records are, are full of cracks and flaws and, and lost information. And uh, I think Ernie's as real as we want him to be. Past keepers have said books would mysteriously fall off shelves, doors would open and close, boats would become untied, and the TV would turn on and off on its own. Even Todd has had a ghostly experience. And all of a sudden, this light switch snapped closed. Now, this takes some force to do. Whether it's fact or fable, the story of Ernie adds to the lore of the lighthouse. Beautiful spot. A place Todd hopes many more will come to see and continue to preserve. But you don't want to lose that because then it diminishes what makes you unique. It, it tears a thread out of the, the tapestry of, of the history here. History worth withstanding the test of time. For CT Style, I'm Megan Yost.